welcome to the garden. Today I've come up with a new system for composting that'll simplify carbon and nitrogen ratios. For most of us, the ideal balance is about 30 to 1 carbon to nitrogen. So our perfect ratio of about 30 parts carbon to 1 part nitrogen will be represented by a zero. It's completely neutral and perfectly balanced. Going up from zero, the higher the number, the richer it is in nitrogen. And going down from zero, the richer it is in carbon. Food scraps from the kitchen are gonna be classified as a number one. Those are around 20 parts carbon to one part nitrogen. So they're not pure nitrogen. These are all actually fairly balanced with carbon already. I'm calling grass clippings a two. Those are closer to 15 to one or 10 to one carbon to nitrogen. So they have a little bit more nitrogen than your vegetable scraps from the kitchen. And a three would be something like manure. That's gonna be very rich in nitrogen and is closer to 10 to one or even five to one carbon to nitrogen. So down on the other side of zero, we have carbon rich materials. Our first one here at number one is dried leaves. These are about 60 to one carbon to nitrogen. So they're gonna do a great job of balancing out your food scraps if you mix about equal parts. Our second carbon rich material is paper products. These are things like newspaper, but can also include tissues and napkins. Anything made out of paper is just wood pulp, and wood is very high in carbon. Paper products are upwards of 100 to 1 carbon to nitrogen, or even more. Our third carbon rich material is sawdust. This also includes wood chips and even shredded cardboard, and because these are just basically wood pulp, they're closer to 300 parts carbon to one part nitrogen. So these are your real heavy hitters when it comes to carbon. So if we added one handful of vegetable scraps, I would want to balance that out with one handful of dried leaves. If we added two handfuls of vegetable scraps, we could balance that out with one handful of shredded newspaper. And if we add three handfuls of vegetable scraps, we could balance that out with one handful of sawdust. So anytime you're adding nitrogen rich materials, you wanna balance them out with carbon rich materials. There's a lot more going on in a compost pile than just carbon and nitrogen ratios. You've gotta have a good balance of beneficial bacteria, which are really prevalent in things like manure. So those can be used to inoculate a pile, really get it jump started. I like to aerate the pile. This will keep the decomposition aerobic, which means in the presence of air or oxygen. And this will help it from smelling too awful, and it also prevents it from creating methane, which is a greenhouse gas. You want it to have a decent amount of moisture. You can see here the pile is actually dark, which means it's nice and wet, but it's not heavy, it's not saturated. It's just about the dampness of a wrung out sponge. You can see those leaves are just a little bit shiny with moisture. And then there's the amount of time that the compost takes to decompose. The finer your material, the faster it will break down. So I always like to shred my materials up if I can. I usually add equal parts food scraps and dried leaves. I'm going to start with some dried leaves. Add our vegetable scraps from the kitchen. So if we just add equal parts dried leaves, and mix them all together, we end up with a ratio pretty close to the ideal of 30 to 1. And feel free to mix it up if you want to add a big bucket full of grass clippings. Just add a bucket full of shredded newspaper or two buckets full of dried leaves. Or about a half a bucket full of sawdust. So just this material making up these numbers actually ends up being fairly well balanced because we have equal parts of carbon rich material and nitrogen rich material. So I'm just gonna mix all of these into my compost pile today. So 
So hopefully this new system will help simplify carbon to nitrogen ratios in your compost pile. If you enjoyed the video, let me know in the comments or with a thumbs up. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.